When you first look at your data in Logger Pro, you may see that it doesn't all show up on your graph. So we can change the axes. One of the quickest ways to do that, so I click here to activate this graph. I see the little dots around the corners. And if I just go to A for auto scale, that's going to auto scale it. And now I can see that's all a little bit less than zero. And this goes down to negative two point something. I might, if I want to change that, you can go in here and you can change it sort of manually like that and move it around a little bit. I usually like to have like nice round numbers at the bottom. So I'm going to call that negative three. Again, I go down here, I click on this graph, I see my little dots and I can auto scale that. And this one had some negative. So it gave me some negative as well. Um, now I'm what I'm seeing here is after five seconds, there's not really much going on in this experiment. So I can go down here and click on that and make that five. Notice the top doesn't change. We may have to change both of them. Now everything's lined up from zero, twos are lined up, and we're all the way out here to five. Um, I might say, well, look, really, this is, in this case, it was a car going forward and backward. In this point, I'm not really concerned with this. All I'm really concerned with is the collision. So I can say, hey, let's go from two to three seconds. I can click here, make that a two. Sometimes you got to move around a little bit. You click in the wrong spot. And you don't quite get it. There's two to three. I could have even gone two to um, two and a half. But now I'm feeling like, oh, I don't quite see what I wanted to see at the start of that. So let's maybe bring this back to one and a half. Now I can see both my level places and that change. So I want to bring this one back to one and a half as well. And now I can see both of my graphs nicely scaled. Um, so this important piece here is right in the middle. And I've also got a stretch here where it is. Um, the, it's clearly I've got something fairly constant here and then a change and then something fairly constant at the bottom. So I've, I've scaled it in for both of those.